What's up, everybody? Everyone here with week eight of Fortnite season eight, and they added two new characters Amber and Sledgehammer. And that is it, that is all. That's it's not free characters like I thought last week, right? By the way, this I, I think I don't know if I said it before, I think it's Cube Assassin, which I think we're actually. There's a, a challenge involving her, I think, but I, I don't know. We'll see, we'll see. So yeah, outside from that, they added the exotic Icy Grappler and unvaulted the regular Grappler. You can buy it from Fabio Sparkleman, the exotic one, but that is it, guys. So let's get on with it. So Amber is right here near Corny Crops. So here we got Amber, she sells Firefly Jar and the Dub Exotic Shotgun. So we're gonna actually buy the Firefly Jar, all of them, because one of the her stages involve Firefly Jars. So stage 1, destroy a fireplace at Lazy Lake, Craig Cliffs, Holly Hedges or Pleasant Park. So we only need one. But I'm going to show you all the possible locations. I'm going to go to Pleasant, though. So here we got one fireplace on Pleasant. There's another one, but I'm not going to show. I'm not going to do this right now. I'm going to show it to you next. And along with the other locations. So here is the second fireplace location on Pleasant Park. So we got here and here. Here is one location on Craggy Cliffs. Here's one on Holly Hedges. There's another one. This is the second location. And lastly, we got three locations on Lazy Lake. Right here. One on each residential house. Here. And here. Again, you just need one. You know, maybe go to Pleasant or Craggy. That is close to Ember. But yeah. So stage two, set, set structures on fire. So we got Firefly Jar. We don't need to do this with the Firefly Jar. I actually, I don't know how else you could do this. I guess you could shoot uh, a fuel tank, those tanks, or the, those. And it doesn't need to be built structures, enemy built or your built. Any structures should work, but remember, you, you see, it doesn't, it's not taking fire because it's brick. So try to get like a house made of wood like this. It should get more fire on it. There you go. See, way better. And there you go, 10. Easy. Very easy. Stage 3, emote within 5 meters of a vehicle that's smoking. So, I'm gonna try to throw the, the jar on a vehicle. Would that work? I think you need to almost damage it. Yeah. Oh no, oh, wait, oh, it's another. Wait, I didn't damage any, any opponents. What the fuck? Oh, it's smoking. There you go. 
So you, it doesn't need to be the firefly. I'm sure if you just shoot it until... Where is the damage? Oh, there you go. Until you see a smoke and you just emote on it. Pretty simple. Stage 4, ignite an opponent with a firefly jar. Now this challenge used to be a challenge like daily challenge or weekly, whatever. And it was always annoying to me because I would try to throw the, the jar on people and it just wouldn't work. I think it only works if you throw directly at them. Actually, that's not true. It's just it's finicky. You know, sometimes it works if you throw kind of near them. Sometimes, yeah. You know, you know what I should try? Cube monsters. Let's make this easy. You know? It's an opponent. Should count. Okay. Let's see. Oh, killed him. One thing. Come on. Yeah, it doesn't seem like it's counting. Where is it? Yeah, it didn't count. It has to be... The regular people. How does that not count, guys? Not there. Oh my god. Come on. Do you see what I'm talking about? I hit him twice. I got the, the damage. There's no way. So I'm picking up some fireflies here. Because I want to try and see if it works against. Uh, IO guards. So here we go. I'm gonna try to actually throw, do a direct hit. Wow, I missed twice. <laughs> oh, come on, man. Do I need to kill them? I think it doesn't count. Which really sucks. So we're going to Ember once again. I'm gonna buy all the Firefly she has, plus the shotgun, because the shotgun give us. Oh boy! It does Firefly damage. Sorry, fire damage. So scratch all that. It needs to be Firefly. I forgot about that detail. Well, let's damage them. Oh my god. Wait a second. Oh my god. Bro. Not again! Two in a row. So, so, let me just explain what's happening. When the, the firefly explodes, it counts at explosive damage. So that's why it's not counting. That's why you can't throw them at them directly. Apparently not even close. You have to kill them with the fire damage. My god, bro. So I'm trying to damage them a little bit. Because they're not going to stay inside the, the fire for that long. So we damage them a little bit. Throw the firefly. Hopefully they die from the fire, not the explosion of the firefly, but man, this is not, this shouldn't be this hard. I'm out of fucking... Yes. Yes! 
Oh my god, he went into the fire and died. And it counted. Thank god. Oh. So that's it, guys. You got it. Kill them with the fire. You get it. I explained it all. Stage 5. Heal from a campfire. Oh my god. Wait a second. Let's just use this smed kit. So. Oh man, there's a lot of locations of her campfire. I'm probably gonna go to Pleasant Park here. Because I'm close. I need to heal 15 points. Well, there you go. There, heal from a campfire. And that is it for Amber. Way more annoying because of the the whole firefly thing. I think this has been a problem for a long time. And now they're putting it as a quest. I think a lot of people are going to be annoyed by this. And hopefully Epic will change. I don't know, if you just throw the, the thing and it hits them, it counts. It should be like that. No, this is way more complicated. It's not complicated. You need to kill them. And uh, you need to kill them and the, it can't be from the direct hit. You know, so yeah. Let's go to the next character. So next we got Sledgehammer. And he's located near Holly Hedges, near Flopper Pond. Buddy, so sledgehammer. He sells a pistol, a rare pistol. Well, that's fun. Stage one: open the chest in the sideways. So a lot of the his quests, not a lot, all of them will be inside of the sideways, and I might even complete them all at once. Almost. We'll see. We'll see. So I'm actually gonna go to the anomaly because it's closer to me right now. So I'm doing this in the anomaly, which goes pretty fast. So if you wanna do this, you know, gotta be pretty fast. The, the, there's always at least one chest for the first one, the first challenge. Oh, let me get the scythe. Stage two, eliminate different types of cube monsters. So let's see, we got one, two, I believe. We got, I need a, uh, I need a third one. I need the gas type. Oh my god. I think the more you eliminate them, the more time you have, bad. Dude, the gas type is not spawning. Oh, there you go, I guess I got something. I got free. Damage opponents with a sideways weapon. That's why I got the scythe. Not ideal, but you know. Wow. Really not ideal. It's not working. 150 damage. Stage 3. Yeah, we're almost done. Unfortunately. Victory, yeah. So did I... Oh, I did it. Okay. Stage 4. Collect cube monsters parts, which are these here. They're used to craft the sideways to upgrade the sideways weapons. Hopefully I got enough here. I did not. So let's let me get this. Yeah, I think. Is there another anomaly nearby? Let's go here. Maybe I can even go to the actual sideways. Let me get a car. I think there's a car here. Wow, so apparently I got 52 parts. So if I, I should have held and not pick up all the parts. I wasn't paying attention anyway. But if you can, try not to get all the parts so that you can do this challenge right away. It doesn't count if you already have them apparently. So I'm already going to anticipate this. 
Stage 5 is defeated boss cube monster in the sideways, so I think the cube assassin counts as a boss cube monster. Where is the fucking... what? But I think the... what, what, what are they called? I need to collect parts first. Forgot about the detail. Uh, the jeez. Not seeing them. That's why. I... So yeah, stage five. Defeat the boss. To a monster in the sideways. I I don't even see her. So that's great. But I'm talking about the what? What are they called? I'm not gonna get any here. It's the ones that ha have a health bar. The monsters that have a health bar, which I'm not getting. I'm gonna go to the sideways. No, I'm gonna die. Shit. Yeah, I'm gonna die. I'm gonna try this on the next. Yeah, I, I want to test if the health bars monsters counted as a boss. For sure, the assassin, the cube assassin, has got to count as a boss. So we'll see. So I'm going straight to the sideways this time, the main one. But the side, the, this main sideways doesn't have cube assassin. As long as far as I know, I've tried staying inside as long as possible, and I never saw her. You only see her on the anomalies, and even then, as you saw before, you don't get. Oh my god! You don't. You don't always get her because I think how it works. You need. You need to complete multiple sideways for her to show up, because each sideway, each is sideways anomaly. We'll get harder and harder, and that's how it works. But I want to see if I can find the name, the health bar monsters here, and see if that counts. Doesn't count. We go to the anomaly, and get that. Oh, here is that one? No, is that that's the the other type of. Monster, which is the exploding one. Oh, he didn't explode. It's nice. The what? what is that? Wow, I am screwed. The God. Oh my God! Oh God! What? What? No way. How did that guy count it as a boss? What? He didn't have... What the... Oh my god. So I guess... Just a random zombie. He was pretty hard to defeat, but he didn't have the health bar. Definitely not cube assassin. Wow. So I guess just keep killing zombies or, or monsters, whatever, on the sideways. One of them should be the boss. Or again, the assassin. You know what? Let me show you the assassin if you want. And I want to get her on the, the collection because I defeated her once and it didn't add to the collection, which is why I don't think it's her. I don't know. Sometimes it glitches. So let me show her, but obviously she she is pretty hard to defeat, so if you just want to get this done, as you see, like just, I don't know, just a guy with a little bit more health, doesn't have the health bar, it counts. So, so here we go, we're gonna do the anomaly. So I don't know if I explained this before, I, I did it, I kind of said it. So the cube assassin doesn't always show up, it's definitely not gonna show in the first one, I hope, <laughs> because you need to complete multiple in the same match. So each time you complete one, it's going to be harder the next time. 
and as harder as it gets you get the the health bars on monsters the cube assassin is just gonna get it harder obviously like I said and that's how you get her you know you also want to get the minigun hopefully try to upgrade so you see that a new anomaly will show up in the map in a different location other people can complete the anomaly obviously but I don't know if they complete it if you have to complete it I think you do, you do. sorry I, you don't I think someone else completes one and you do the second one they will get harder actually I don't have no idea so as you can see in the map here these are different this means that someone is doing it right now which means it will go away pretty soon you know what I actually think that the whole getting harder the anomaly I'm, I'm not sure if it's just how many times you do it in the same match it could be also how long the match has been going on so if it's a very late match you'll get harder anomalies that probably makes more sense Oh my god, finally! The cube assassin, we destroyed her and we can buy cube monster parts. 25 gold, 20 stock. And there she is, number 17. New encounter, what? What, what does that mean? No, she's there, she's there. Oh my god. So apparently this is random. She she can show up in, on the first anomaly, on the second, third. I tried seven anomalies on the same match. I got her on the first three. I messed up. Couldn't kill her. But I finally got... But then after the third time, I couldn't get her anymore. So it, it seems to be random. So just keep trying. I'm sure you'll get give this guy to kill. And, and the other thing you need to keep an eye on is the time. So you can easily lose time. The strategy that you should do is is get to the second trophy thing the second stage of out of free right so that so focus on killing zombies monsters until you get to the second trophy and then you focus on her try to shoot her only when she she has the shield go behind her and do headshots try to get a minigun as you saw there it's way easier you don't have to reload well it, it can overload but still it's it's better than reloading with the regular guns so that's it so again guys I'm just showing the cube assassin just to show i guess i wanted oh my gosh she's glitched whatever it, it counts i think it counts but anyway for the actual challenge you don't need to do her as you saw you can easily do regular zombies they'll be elite brutes i believe it's the name they don't need to be they don't need to be health bar zombies or the cube assassin it can just be the regular ones that are a little bit stronger okay so really easy just one and that is it guys for week eight you got like four more weeks i believe we're going until week 12 and some people think that this will be the last the last season of the chapter i don't think it's gonna be i think that they're gonna get, they're they're going to go to season 10 just like they did chapter one you know it's cleaner that way but i also want the chapter to end it's been rough two years so hopefully chapter three we're gonna have unreal engine 5 better content better map but yeah i think we're going until season 10 unfortunately
unfortunately. But yeah, we still got four weeks, long ways to go for this season. But that's it guys, thanks for watching, see you next week. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel, like the video, and if you want to watch every week's videos, there's a playlist right here for you to click on if you need. Alright, thanks for watching, see you next week, goodbye.